guys have been requesting a little get ready with me or everyday makeup routine or something like that so today I decided that is what I will do and I will do a little get ready with me okay skincare I use first of all the lush breath of fresh air toner water for moisturizer in the morning I use um, a charity pot from lush I really like this moisturizer I genuinely find it really good and the money goes to a good cause I then go in with some lip balm, this is the Burt's Bees Coconut Pear Lip Balm. I always use Burt's Bees, it is my favourite, but um, I mean, as far as like the flavour of it goes, I just switch between whatever they have. So, I've actually found this new thing that works for me personally, because I like dewy natural looking foundation. And I find this helps me kind of get that a little bit, it kind of like tones it down. Um, so I basically spritz a bit more toner on my face and then put my foundation straight on top of kind of like the wet moisturiser and toner. And it tends to work quite well to make it look kind of um, more natural and dewy. So I'm just going to spritz more toner on my face. I then go in with the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in F1. Um, I know I've just said I like natural looking foundation. Uh, I don't mind the coverage of this. I wasn't really using foundation for a little while because I prefer natural, so I was using BB cream and I do sometimes still switch to BB cream. Um, however, I have been really liking this foundation. And then I just grab my beauty blender and I blend it out onto my face. And I think it looks really pretty. Right, next I go in with brows. Um, and I use the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. Because I actually use an eyeshadow for my eyebrows. I just find it works really well and it lasts. So I use this and I use the colour Sexpresso up here um, on a little brush. And I just put it through my brows. I go through such a phase with my brows, sometimes I really like them and I find them really easy to fill in and other times I hate them and right now I'm in a bit of one of those phases. Anyway, once I've put a bit of powder and product in there and like darkened them up a little bit, I use the Pixie Brow Tamer and I just brush that through um, to brush my brows up and also to set them in place. To finish off my brows, I actually like to go in with like a little white eyeliner and just draw underneath them and blend it out. It doesn't do the biggest amount once I've blended it out, but I kind of like just the natural kind of um, definition. Okay, then I do eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I use the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, I know this is a high-end palette, okay? Um, I got this for my birthday. I didn't ask for it or anything, but I got some birthday money and I wanted to treat myself and I really wanted an eyeshadow palette that would suit for my gigs and that was kind of like a nice quality one because I don't really spend much on makeup anymore. I'm very happy with what I've got and I just use um, more drugstore products, but I oh, know I just wanted to go a little bit more um, high-end and so I bought... <laughs> this palette and I do not regret it at all. I absolutely love it. I grab a Real Techniques 203 brush like a little fluffy one and I go in with the colour Burn Orange which is this one and pack it all over my eyelid. And that is kind of where I leave eyeshadow. I sometimes like to add some gold like on the in a corner and make it more of like a proper eyeshadow look and then I like darken it up a little bit on the outer corners um, and make it a little bit more of a look. Um, however, sometimes I like to just leave it like this and I think today that's what I'm going to do because I'm not really up to anything. Another thing that I've enjoyed doing at the moment is putting my concealer a bit further down. Yet again, it's another tip I learned and um, I actually quite like it. Doing this after eyeshadow is a good idea because it gets rid of any like fallout not that there is really much with this palette anyway and also if you don't go up too far because you're meant to actually have naturally a little bit of a dark circle under your eye so if you want it to look more natural then blend it up a little bit but not really close to your um lower lash line because it makes it look a little bit more natural and i kind of like that look oh by the way the concealer i'm using is the revolution conceal and define concealer in c1 once I have blended that out under my eyes, I like to use a bit of the Revolution Bake and Finish Luxury Baking Powder. Um, I just put a little bit of this into the cap, this can be messy so I'm going to do it off camera. And then I just get a little brush like this and I dot that under my eyes. I don't bake or anything, I just use this as kind of like a little loose powder under my eyes and I find that it 
makes the underneath of my eyes look a lot less um, cakey than a pressed powder does. I then get my Rimmel, um, it's scratched up, I don't know what this is called. I think it's the Stay Matte Powder in 001 Transparent. And I just get a little fluffy brush and I put this very lightly over the rest of my face because I like a more natural look, as I've mentioned many a time. So I don't like to put a lot of powder on because it tends to look a bit cakey. I then go in with bronzer, and for bronzer, I'm enjoying Hoola Light right now, which is just a really light bronzer. Go in with this little angled kind of fluffy brush and just apply that to my cheekbones. Now for blusher, I actually use the same brush because I find it blends in with your bronzer a little bit better. So for blusher, I use the NARS Orgasm Blusher. This is my favourite blush of all time. Super pretty. Um, go in on the same brush and then just kind of go up into the bronzer. For highlight, I go in with the High Beam Benefit Highlighter. Um, I just put a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then I go in with my finger, get a little bit and put it on my cheeks. I also put a little bit on the tip of my nose because I like having a little bit of a highlighted nose, upper lip. And then if I have a little bit left, I go in the inner corners of my eyes as well. Just a little tiny bit. I then do mascara. First of all, I curl my lashes. For mascara, this is my favourite mascara of all time. I've mentioned it in many, many videos. It is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes So Couture. I completely forgot. I should have done this in the same stage as my eyeshadow. I also go in with the brush that comes with the eyeshadow. Go to this little stubbly end and I go in with the same colour burnt orange and take it under my eye as well. I completely forgot to do this earlier. There we go. Now for lips, I flip between a few different things. I usually use either a Huda Beauty little matte lipstick or I use number seven BB lips in um, Blink Pink and I use uh, NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, is this? Yes, Creme Brulee. Today I'm gonna go in with this one, the little Creme Brulee lip gloss. And that is my finished makeup. This is just what I've been doing like on my everyday basis. Uh, then I just use a little bit of my Daisy perfume that my dad got me in Christmas of 2016. And I spritz that on. And that is kind of my finished look. And then I just like go about my day if I haven't got this on my head. Anyway guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you would like to see as I've just kind of motivated myself to start filming again. So I need to know what you would like to see on my channel. I really hope that you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Mwah. Goodbye.